What's up, what's up? Here is me, Danny from Sigbiker Studio. I hope you enjoy my new quality of the audio. And my whole studio is being transformed and being prepared for the podcast and new content in 2018. And so I'm starting new series with bikes till X amount of money buyer's guide. It's supposed to be uh, published on my e Sigbiker channel. But since YouTube has deleted one of my Polish channels, which was that Buyer's Guide channel, I'm coming back to my main Sigbiker channel. Sorry for that. I hope it will change, but uh, I don't want to risk my main channel, Sigbiker. That would be that would be horrible for me. So today, five bikes. I'm not going to show you all the bikes just uh, right away. Five bicycles in the range of 400 to 600 dollars, and I'm gonna try to save a lot of your time researching and knowing what to even look for if you just want to start your journey with cycling, with road cycling. All right, so let's begin. Number one, this is the wiggle.com website, uh, and here we can see 350 dollars of a price, it might be. Uh, the price without the taxes for us so i'm not sure about that just check it out but uh, just have that in mind but just say for 400 dollars this is something we would start with this is not the sweet spot in terms of quality uh, and the price but this is definitely something for people who are not really sure they will stick to cycling they will love cycling there's very low risk that you will not get in love with cycling but maybe you will go for tennis so then you only lose 350 or 400 dollars what you get here uh, all these five bikes will be aluminum alloy so the frame is made of aluminum and this one wiggle it's called wiggle road bike just simple name will have also the steel fork steel is heavy but still is very compliant and in terms of the compliance it might be even better than the alloy fork so it will be just heavier it's cheap uh, there is no tapered uh, steerer here and the components are the lowest you can have from shimano and it's called shimano turning what it means it means that you have uh, eight gears in the rear so if you look at the uh, cassette where was that this is the chain set where is that cassette here the shimano uh, this is it that's here uh, but what i want you to focus on is not the number of the gears in the rear but number of the teeth on the lowest and the highest gear so the lowest one 28 it's okay might be a little bit more uh, but 28 is okay 14 on the highest one so the fastest one is a little bit uh, too too much i think 12 will be ideal but that's what you get here uh, anyway you will be able to climb pretty steep climbs with 28 in the rear and then 34 in the front all the bikes will have in the front in the chain set 50 tooth for the uh, larger uh, chain ring and 34 for the smaller one so this is the so-called compact crank set all these bikes will have it and it's good uh, so um, uh, this is uh, for the gearing then we have 118 a head steerer so it won't be super stiff it's not tapered but it's just okay you can start with it uh, talking about the upgrades the only thing i would upgrade uh, at the first place is the saddle because it has to be comfortable for you remember that and perhaps uh, additional or just uh, some some uh, thicker uh, bar tape maybe it's thick i don't know but if it's not comfortable for your palm for your hands uh, you can upgrade that and it will be cool the shifters are road specific shifters uh, the cables are external cables as you can see you can you can see those cables not uh, being uh, uh, routed under the bar tape but here externally it is no big deal it is just okay the biggest problem with the components here is the shimano tourney rear derailleur which is very unstable uh, the uh, springs on the tourney uh, derailleur are very flexible and you might experience some chain drop if you go through some some cobblestones from some some rough roads that's what i experienced on all of the bikes uh, i test uh, with the shimano turning but it is no big deal you can also replace it 
it is okay. So that's something for for somebody who does not want to risk too much of a money, just just trying whether cycling will be something for them. Otherwise, the bike will be pretty durable. So that's okay. The second one is also the bike store brand. This is the Merlin Cycles, also well known. This bike for four hundred dollars, pretty cool one. So this co this is called Merlin Performance PR7 road bikes. It's on the sale right now. It looks pretty cool. I do like the the way it it, it looks, the paint and and everything on the bike. And here we are getting also the aluminum frame set, like all, on all of the um, five bikes, and the carbon bladed fork with alloy steer. That means let's see at the fork so these blades here these blades will be made of carbon and the, the steerer so the steering tube this pipe inside uh, the head tube is made of alloy it is pretty cool nothing to, to, to really complain about and then the components are uh, shimano claris so we are going one step further from shimano turner this is shimano claris we are getting two by eight speed. Sorry, the tourney was uh, tourney was seven or eight speed. I'm not sure about that. It, it's a no big deal. Uh, Claris has eight because then the Sora will have nine. So eight speed, but uh, we are interested in this. So 11 by 30 teeth on the cassette. Very good. So you have 30, you'll be able to go slow up the hill. Uh, you've got 11, it's maybe even a little bit too much for beginners. You are able to go pretty fast and you've got the compact crankset. So this is cool. There are some outdated technologies on these bikes like the square tapered uh, crankset, for example. So this part right here, uh, where you have the FSA Tempo crankset. As you can see, this is square tapered, so the axle is square tapered. Uh, you need you need good removing tool for the crankset also it's not very stiff but just remember this is the beginner's bike so you're not really pushing higher than 300 watts of your FTP if you even know what it means so this is really no big deal Shimano Sora some some cheap components like wheels Mavic CXP22 you don't even know uh, you don't even have to know what that means but but this bike will be just capable of showing you what cycling means and if you want to start losing weight this is topic i'm going to be talking so much on my channel right now if you want to start losing weight cycling is ideal for that and such a bike would be ideal for this for this game so 400 dollars but let's go further this is my favorite bike here it's not necessarily the one i would recommend from these five because all these five will be will be good but this is my favorite favorite one giant content 3 2018 620 dollars so we are just uh, leaping from 400 to 620 dollars and we are getting very nice quality frame and that's that this is the first bike from these five uh, which I would recommend upgrading. So if you wish in the future going for some criteriums, even races, some Grand Fondos, you can go for Grand Fondo on the Merlin, you can go on this one for sure. But this content gives you really good quality frames. Gi Giant is one of these gigantic manufacturers, but they do make good quality frames, both for mountain bikes uh, and road bikes. And here, we do have the Alu XX grade aluminum and we get the uh, aluminum fork with alloy overdrive steer. So the fork, they have saved the money on carbon, so no car carbon here. It will be less compliant than the carbon one and less compliant, compliant than the uh, steel one. Um, but this is the overdrive steer and overdrive head tube. That means we are getting uh, tapered uh, stuff here so if you click the technology the overdrive um, system not overdrive 2 but this one is the overdrive means that you have 118 inch top bearing so this one here and 114 inch bottom bearing for the road bikes this is the road bike right so it will be larger for the mountain bikes but that's for the road, bi road bikes 
and it makes your bike to steer with better precision. If you are, for example, uh, riding with no hands on the handlebars, right? We sometimes do it. This bike will be more stable. And also, if you are heavier weight, it's good to have tapered steer. Even though you don't have carbon bladed fork, it's just good. And it will be worth upgrading with some nice, even full carbon fork. That's what I think. And then the components will be not super duper because it's still Shimano Claris, but everything you can upgrade on this bike. And in my opinion, the frame will be just good enough. You don't need lighter frame. You've got the compact crank set and you've got 11 by 34 uh, cassette. And in my opinion, this is the best combination. 34, good stuff, long cage rear derailleur. So you can really climb on this bike. Good one, I do like it. 620, but remember this is 2018, so no sale, no deals. This is just the retail price. Good one and very good looking. The next one is Jamie's. Jamie's is, uh, in my opinion, one of the best brands for so-called budget, um, budget uh, bikes. Because when you go for super duper carbon um, bikes, their prices will be pretty much the same as the competitors. But at this price point, Jamie's is one of the best ones. And also, we are getting aluminum frame with, uh, what was that? We do have the tapered system. So 118 by 1 1.5, which is very good. And then uh, the fork is also alloy with chromoly steer. So uh, the steel steering tube, uh, it will be pretty heavy, but still the frame is pretty good. Uh, and you get some just nice components. This is Claris once more. We've got compact crank set and the cassette is also pretty good. Where was that? The cassette here is 1132, so it's cool. I would I would prefer 1232, but 1132 is good. It's good to have 30 or more teeth in the rear. So that's good. The price 649. If you have some retailer in your, uh, your uh, location, your area, this is pretty good deal. And finally, the fifth one, I'm gonna show you the store. It is the JensenUSA.com store. They do have the giant content. There you go, 620. They do have also Jamie's Icon Race Bike 2015. It's not one of the fifth one, uh, five ones, uh, because um, for the 2018, because this one will be sold pretty quickly, I think. But let's just let's just see, 2015 sale. I would not even think about getting 2018 bike here because we are getting so much good stuff here. So we have Shimano Tiagra, 2x10 speed. We don't focus on having different number of the gears in the rear, but 2x10 speed is pretty sweet and you can upgrade to the newest uh, Tiagra, but you, you won't really need that. Some of your riding buddies will tell you, hey, you've got the external cables here in the front <laughs> who who rides it now you can just tell them sig biker said this is cool you see these housings are external now uh, the shifters have the internal housing so would be routed just under the bar tape so you just see the housing that's the difference additional difference is that replacing the housing and the cable is super easy comparing to the ones under the bar tape so you don't need to even touch the bar tape. You just, you just remove the cable, remove the housing. It is super cool. Uh, if you didn't know they were internal ones, it, they would never really bother you. So this is cool, two by 10 Tiagra and also the fork. Let's see at the fork. This one is, uh, yeah, monocoque one piece um, carbon fork. I'm not sure about, about the crown hollow form crown. It looks like this is even the full carbon fork. That would be super cool. It's 1.5. So 118 by 1.5. Great. This is also the tapered one for 640. Grab it. In my opinion, grab it. I wouldn't go for for uh, for Giant, which looks so nice. And it's my favorite as, as the brand I know and the frame I know. Uh, but for the money, I think Jamie's is cool. But then the fifth one, is it's also on the sale 2016 
689 and it's Kona Esato bike. There's nothing outstanding about this bike. It's also on Shimano Sora, just uh, basic components. But this is also one of the bikes I would recommend if you have just around $600 to spend. So remember, if you buy really cheap, you are getting steel fork in the front and Shimano Tiagra components. Uh, these are not that, that good. But then if you could go just a little bit higher to Shimano Claris, Shimano Claris will feel better. Uh, and, and yeah, we'll have one gear more in the rear, but it doesn't matter that much. Uh, here you have also carbon bladed fork. So the Merlin is really good choice, really sweet spot for the, for the money. Then giant content, high quality frame. Maybe Merlin is just as high quality as giant, but, but I just know giant. Uh, and I would love to add Trek 1.1 or 1.2 here, but it will be much more expensive. That's why I'm not adding those bikes uh, here. And then Jamie's also pretty cool bike. And this one on the sale, Icon Race, super good. If you have any questions, put those in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye-bye.